Joining me now, former Trump campaign advisor, Michael Caputo. Michael, thanks for your time this morning. I'm sure that you have a reaction to everything you've seen in the last 24 hours. Your thoughts this morning? Well, uh, I'm a longtime friend of Paul Manafort's, and I've known the president for uh, several years. Uh, yesterday was not a good day for the president, but not because of anything I believe that the president did. Uh, Paul Manafort's uh, uh, verdict, uh, they, the, the, the uh, a special counsel couldn't seem to uh, keep, you know, make more than half of those charges stick. And the ones that did stick uh, didn't have anything at all to do with the president. Uh, and Michael Cohen, uh, what, what happened yesterday, it's very interesting how just in February, Michael Cohen was saying for all of the world to hear that uh, this was not a campaign contribution or campaign ex expenditure, that it was on the up and up. And as soon as he got uh, jammed up in crimes that had nothing at all to do with the president, he seems to have changed his tune. And, and I'm pretty sure that was non-negotiable. Well, the president's critics are using all of this as an opportunity to slam him further. Andrew Cuomo, the governor of New York, wrote this in a tweet. Today, your personal attorney confessed under oath to committing federal crimes at your direction. You may be a slick salesman, but not even you can divert from that. New York has had your number from the beginning, and now the rest of the world does, too. What do you think when you see a tweet like that? Well, I think many of us uh, really kind of sometimes lose our mind on Twitter, and the governor of New York did that right there. I mean, I don't, I, you know, the irony's not lost on me that Governor Andrew Cuomo's own right-hand man fixer, just like Michael Cohen, Joe Percoco, is going to jail for uh, high crimes and misdemeanors himself. A lot of corruption right there in the governor's office. So the fact that he didn't have the self-awareness to know that he was touching a third rail that already had his fingerprints on it, I think that's hilarious. Uh, I, I think a lot of these uh, leftist elected officials will not be able to resist making these kinds of cracks. But for Andrew Cuomo to touch that, I think that uh, really shows a lack of uh, self-awareness on the governor's part. He's in a re-election right now where corruption is key, and his opponent is making it the number one issue, and the people of New York know it. I want to show you this tweet, uh, Michael Avenatti, uh, of course, the attorney for the adult film star Stormy Daniels. He, he jumped in as well. And he tweeted this at the president's attorney, Rudy Giuliani, saying, buckle up, buttercup, you and your client completely misplayed this. What is he trying to say? He's trying to say that someone should take away my Twitter. Uh, I, I got to tell you, uh, you know, I'm guilt. Like I said before, I'm guilty of this now and again as well. But for a public official, uh, uh, I'm, for example, congressman to quote, uh, to tweet people and say something that a teenager would say and... Avenatti, who seems to have inserted himself through the pornography industry into the minds and, uh, of, of Americans on, on the news, you know, I, I think these are ridiculous statements. Uh, it's kind of like a, a, a schoolyard taunt. Uh, I, I guess Twitter is taunting, uh, and that's where we are today. I, I don't think it's very serious, and Avenatti is someone I don't take very seriously. The president suggesting Michael Cohen is making up stories. You have just said you've known him personally for years, about five years, as we understand it. Do you think he is? Well, I think it's entirely possible that Michael Cohen will make up a story to try to get some leniency for crimes that he's committed that it didn't involve Donald Trump at all. I believe that's what's happened here. They say he's not, uh, he's not cooperating. Uh, but if it looks like a duck and quacks like a duck, it's probably a duck. This is cooperation in its finest form. Uh, I think that, uh, uh, you, know, it's, you know, when it comes down to the Department of Justice, we know they do things like you can get a reduced sentence if you plead guilty to this here and, and, and they put their finger on the campaign finance violation and implicate the president. I'm sure that was non-negotiable when he got a better deal for the crimes that he committed. And I'm sure he'll get more leniency in the, in the future if he tells more lies. Well, Lanny Davis, um, uh, Cohen's attorney, is, uh, is about to come up. First time on Fox since becoming his attorney. Uh, we will hear from him in moments. Uh, he has suggested that his client's knowledge, uh, that his client has knowledge implicating the president in criminal conspiracy uh, to hack Democratic emails. Uh, he has had a lot to say. He went on the Today Show this morning as well. Again, we'll talk to him in a few minutes, but wanted to get your reaction to that. Well, you know, Lanny Davis comes from the Clinton team, and uh, when people tell me that he's working on orders of Clinton Incorporated, I, I think that's kind of 
funny because Lanny doesn't need any orders to go out and act like a highly partisan Democrat. Uh, he, it, he comes by it honestly. He is one. And uh, when he, he's going to be right in his wheelhouse for the next several days. He's very good at the communications aspect of litigation. Uh, but I, I got to tell you, uh, I am really uh, uh, entertained by the fact all these reporters who are out there uh, who have for uh, two years told me that Michael Cohen is the most unreliable source on the planet are now acting like he's some paragon of virtue. Uh, Mr. Davis may be able to spin out the idea that Michael Cohen is looking for whatever. Well, the president's uh, attorney, Rudy Giuliani, has said there is no allegation of any wrongdoing against the president and the government's charges against Mr. Cohen. It's clear that, as the prosecutor noted, Mr. Cohen's actions reflect a pattern of lies and dishonesty over a significant period of time. We are going to hear a lot more on this. Michael Caputo, we thank you for your time this morning. Thank you.